guys. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday so far. I'm Nina. And I'm Mia. Having two Mondays off was so much fun. I was hanging out with my cousins. What did you do on your extra days off? I also hung out with my friends and family. Oh, fun. Have you donated any money for pennies for patients? Yep, $20 to be exact. Then you should be sure to turn in your coupon and see your teacher to get some prizes. What? I get a prize for turning in money? Yep. If you, you get a power ring if you turn in $5 and a bracelet if you turn in $15. Wow, how do I do that? Ask your teacher about some extra coupons to fill out. Okay, I will do that. I know you can also get some prizes from setting up an online giving page. That's something I can do. Plus, some of my family members and friends can donate. Individual prizes are great, but I really want my class to win the Olive Garden pizza party. That's right, pasta and breadsticks for the whole class. I hope my class brings in the most money. Me too. Talking about pasta is making me hungry. What are we having for lunch this week? I don't know. Let's go to the lunch bunch. Welcome back, audience, from a three-day weekend. That menu looks good, so let's see what we have for t today. For thir Tuesday, we're having tacos, and if you don't like tacos, you can have a crispy braided drumstick with dinner roll. For Wednesday, we're having a chicken patty sandwich, or you can have it spicy. Or if you don't like those, breakfast for lunch is pancakes and sausage. For Thursday, we're having mandarin orange chicken in a rice bowl, or you can have a corn dog. For Friday, we're having pizza, and if it, and you can have either cheese or pepperoni pizza, or you can have cheese nachos. I'm Bogdan. And I'm Mustafa. And this, and this was, was the, the lunch bunch. bunch. Now, now back, back to you. you. Mmm, lunch sounds great. Hey, haven't you realized we haven't had any otter days in a while? Yep, but have no fear, there is one coming up soon, on March 6th. And I know that the cheerleaders have been working hard to get the performances ready. They really have been. I think Ms. Vincelli really has done a great job coaching our cheerleaders. Yep, she's really a hard worker. In fact, did you know that she not only teaches our cheerleaders, but she teach also teaches the varsity and GV cheerleaders at Center High? Wow, let's hear from Abby with some more details. Hi, I'm Abby from the Otter Outlook. Did you know Miss Vinatelli coaches two cheer teams? Let's take a look. The, at the Oak Hill level, it's nice because, well, I think I only have 16 girls on the team this year, so it's a smaller group, um, and uh, I know all of them, for the most part, coming in, or I have at least seen their faces, and I can see them on campus, um, and then, uh, you know, teaching them, and then have a relationship already, usually with the girls who've been on the team before, and so they assist a lot. down for Bradshaw Christian. I'm Alex. And I'm Corinne. Uh, it's fun. She's really sweet. It was really nice getting to start our first year in high school cheerleading and having her in elementary school. It's like, it's almost comforting to have like someone that we already knew as a coach. I like her being our cheer coach because we already knew her for so long. Um, at the high school level, I started off with 43 on the team, both with JV and varsity, and so that was a bit challenging, um, especially coming in and um, not really knowing how it worked, so trying, there's a bit of a learning curve trying to figure out how they do things at the high school. They do th them a little bit differently, um, but then also uh, a lot of the team members were very welcoming and came in and really um, helped a lot to explain things to me on how it works there, so it was nice. Miss Benatelli really can do it all, and with a little luck, she will have these other cheerleaders cheering their way all the way to Center High School. I'm Abby with the Otter Outlook. Now back to you. Wow, that's really cool. I can't wait till I get into high school to do the cheer squad. I can't wait either. I hope Miss Benatelli is still will be coaching. There is a lot of stuff happening in the next couple of weeks. 
We should just say all of them now. Okay. On March 5th, Mike Graff is coming. Who is Mike Graff? Mike Graff is the author of some great books about many of the national parks in the United States, and he is this year's featured speaker at the Oak Hill Annual Author Day. Oh yeah, that reminds me that the Author Day poster contest posters are due on February 21st, so you can ask your teachers for the rules and paper for your poster and show off your artistic abilities. There will be three winners chosen, and the winners will receive a free autographed book from Mike Graff. Winners will be chosen from grade K through 2nd, 3rd through 4th, and 5th through 6th. Also, on Friday, February 21st, is the PTA-sponsored Valentine's Spaghetti Dinner inside an auction. February 28th is movie night. They will be showing Frozen 2. Wow, there has been so many events happening. I think I need a mindful moment with Miss Maria. Okay, roll the clip. Good morning, Otters. Instead of mindful moment today, we are going to be presenting Toolbox Time. Toolbox Time is a time to review our awesome toolkit used to keep ourselves cool, calm, and carrying on. That's right. Today we're adding a new tool to our kit, the Growth Mindset. It's a type of positive self-talk you can use to fight back against that negative self-talk. In case you forgot, negative self-talk is the negative or hurtful things you say to yourself in your head about yourself. Have you ever felt like you weren't smart enough? Like the classwork was just too hard? Like you just felt like giving up? Well, you're not alone. All students at one time or another feel this way because of that negative self-talk they hear in their heads. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And the good news is that by changing your thoughts, you can get yourself to work harder. And by working harder, you can actually get smarter. Seriously? Yep. A student with a growth mindset believes his or her brain is like a muscle that can grow through hard work and determination. Wait, so you're saying that by trying harder at math, I can actually get good at it? Good at it? I always thought you were either born smart or not. No, you can get smart at anything you put your mind to. And every time you make a mistake, it's proof that you're learning and getting better. And every time you do something hard, you're giving your brain the exercise it needs to get stronger and you smarter. All that matters is that you're trying your, you got it, best. Crazy, I always thought mistakes were a No, we actually need to make mistakes in order to get better at things. This is such great news. Right? Let's practice some of the growth mindset phrases together now. Repeat after us. Instead of, I am not good at this, I can say, I am not good at this yet, but I will learn. Instead of, I am great at this. I can say, I practiced and learned how to do this. Instead of, this is too hard, I can say, this will require effort and finding the right strategy. Instead of, this is too easy, I can say, how can I make this more challenging? Thank you, Otters, for joining us for Toolbox Times today. Have a beautiful day. That was really calming and relaxing. Hey, I heard that community art night was last Thursday. It was. How was it? It was great. There were tons of kids creating some great art and patterns. There was even free pizza and passes to Crocker Art Museum. Do we have any footage from it? We do, but you'll have to stay tuned until next week to see it. Okay. Well then, let's at least get a great book recommendation. Sounds good. Take it away, OBC. Do you like books about friendship? Well, if you do, then you should like this book called, called Word of Mouse. It's about a blue mouse named Isaiah. He can do extraordinary things that other mice can't. He was trying to escape a lab that he and his family were captured in, but suddenly they disappeared. When he escaped, he made friends and enemies on the way. To find out if Isaiah survives his journey, check the book out at the library. I'm Macy. And I'm Caden. Are you down with the OBC? Now back to you. That Read book looks great. Reading is awesome, but I am a more math person myself. Well, then you should check out Mrs. Edwards' fourth graders in their Math 360.
Wow, what a great way to practice math. And now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Remember to be safe. Be responsible. Be respectful. And be ready. Have an honorific week. week.